Greetings. You can be sure of succeeding in your attacks if you only attack places which are undefended. You can ensure the safety of your defense if you only hold positions that cannot be attacked. Hence, that general is skillful in attack whose opponent does not know what to defend, and he is skillful in defense whose opponent does not know what to attack. O oh, divine art of subtlety and secrecy, through you we learn to be invisible, through you inaudible, and hence we can hold the enemy's fate in our hands. You may advance and be absolutely irresistible if you make for the enemy's weak points. You may retire and be safe from pursuit if your movements are more rapid than those of the enemy. If we, if we wish to fight, the enemy can be forced to an engagement even though he be sheltered behind a high rampart and a deep ditch. All we need to do is attack some other place that he will be obliged to relieve. If we do not wish to fight, we can prevent the enemy from engaging us even though the lines of our encampment be merely traced out on the ground. All we need to do is throw something odd and unaccountable in his way. So what we're seeing here is it takes shape what Sun Tzu is advising us to do. He's advising us to not be obvious about what we're really doing, but to throw the enemy things that the enemy is not expecting or that the enemy is not prepared to, to deal with. If the enemy is entrenched in a position, you attack somewhere that he must go and defend. If you want the enemy to attack something, or you want him to not attack something, <laughs> then you throw him a curveball. You do something unexpected. You make the other side hesitate and slow down and try to think their way through. So what you're doing is you're manipulating the energy of the engagement. You're manipulating the thought process of the other side and confining the other side to the movements you want him to make. So you're not just waiting for the other side to do what you want them to do. You're forcing errors. You're forcing mistakes. You're giving incentives for the other side to do something that's going to make them lose, as long as you're there to exploit the disadvantage. So it's all about taking advantage of the mistakes you create that you envisioned in your mind before you did anything, and you're forcing the enemy to move or not move because of your actions. So it's not a passive process. This is advising how to take the ideas from the earlier parts of the art of war and start applying them to whatever it is that you're doing with a human opponent, somebody who actively wants to defeat you, but is looking for the way high. So you're making sure that the enemy is dancing to your tune and not the other way around. This has been Sun Tzu in 5 Minutes. Thank you very much.